Welcome to Just Not Good Cooking. That's right. You heard it here. The cooking that this moron does is just not good. What I'm going to do today is make my marinade sauce. And I use this particular glass bottle which has the marks on it for the number of ounces which is helpful. The first that I start with is the teriyaki sauce. I'm going to put two ounces which means it's to this first mark up here. Two ounces of teriyaki sauce. And then two ounces of barbecue sauce. I haven't really picked the specific brand that I like, but it's usually honey barbecue. Maybe someday I'll get to a point where I make my own, but for now I do it this way. A lot of things that I would like to do, like fresh spices and stuff. I don't own any land, don't have a garden, and probably never will. Now we go into the tablespoon and put in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and we'll see if I have enough to get a tablespoon out. There's one. They might have enough for the other. Looks like I do. Okay. Then we yeah, had two tablespoons of uh, Italian dressing. And again, I haven't really chosen a specific brand to be my favorite. For now, I will use this. I'm going to make sure that it's well shaken. Try not to slobber all over myself. We do two tablespoons. Try to get some of those spices and stuff that's in there. Alright. Then, and here we come with the hard part. Yes. Two tablespoons of molasses. This is going to stick to the tablespoon measuring quite profusely and it will of course stick to everything. And sticks to the jar that I'm pouring it out of. Evidently a little bit of that uh, oil from the salad dressing is preventing it from covering the tablespoon completely. That worked out better. Alright, then 
two tablespoons of soy sauce. I have been experimenting with different recipes and basically doing a lot of Chinese. And I started doing recipes that had soy sauce in it and discovered that, hey, I guess I like soy sauce. Before, that's, that's only been like a year, before that I never would have thought of buying soy sauce. And, as usual, I slobber, which is why I bought, brought some paper towels, because I am clumsy, but that's okay. <clears throat> Not married, so I don't have a wife to scream at me. <laughs> I can scream at myself. Now we do some dry stuff. Oh, being a klutz again. So we're going to, I'm going to wipe off the tablespoon. Because I don't want things to stick to it. I've already gotten my paper towel all messed up. Oregano. So it's a tablespoon of oregano. I'll grab a tablespoon. Is it static electricity or something here? What's going on? And next on the list is cayenne pepper. Make sure we have that. And oh dear. How do I do this? this comes off. There we go. I don't know why everything is sticking to this. Probably more than what I normally put in. Oops. I forgot. <clears throat> now I can be a little less sloppy about it. There. Cayenne kind of pepper. Put that back on. Then turmeric. However you pronounce that. close to a tablespoon have to be exact okay and parsley is next now these next spices oh, I forgot to cover that 
is I started years ago when I was first getting into cooking on my own. I saw the spice parsley and immediately started thinking of the Simon and Garfunkel song, Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme. So for some unknown reason, I started using those. You know, I'm not going to put, I wrote that down wrong. It's not a whole tablespoon, more like a teaspoon of sage. Rosemary. Again, these should be teaspoon, not tablespoon, I think. Where's my teaspoon? Oh, there's the teaspoon. Teaspoon. I'm running out of rosemary. Oh dear. Don't really have a full teaspoon worth. Gonna have to put that on my grocery list. And time. Oh, do I have time to do this? <laughs> <coughs> yes, I can't help myself. Oops, teaspoon, teaspoon. Close enough. I don't usually measure everything. I just shake a bottle of something until it looks right. Okay, and that's time. Now, we put in two tablespoons. And I think I have to open this one. Yes. Tablespoons of minced garlic. Now I got to wipe this off. We don't want this to go into the garlic. In case I'm doing a recipe that doesn't want that included in it. Spoons of minced garlic. Try to green. Let the water drain out of that. Okay. I like garlic. Should not be. Whoops. I need a different funnel. Not getting all of the drier stuff out of there. Hmm. Okay. That failed. And then ginger. This one would be better to use a knife to get that. Try to duplicate what 
a tablespoon. It's probably one. That's enough of an estimate. And again, it would be nicer if I had all fresh ingredients, but I don't. Okay, and then cinnamon, my favorite, it's a flavor enhancer. getting all kinds of sticky stuff to it. Oh, that's a tablespoon, so we'll do several teaspoons because they fit. Oh, what I was about to say, it fits better. Oh well. Okay. Clumsy me again. Cardamom. Then some steak sauce. Did I not? Okay. I didn't close off the cardamom. Run out of space again. Ridiculous. A small kitchen. And what I call worst sauce or Worcestershire work sauce, Worcester sauce. I don't know how to pronounce these things. Two tablespoons of that. And again, precision is not really all that key. things down, but I wrote things down from memory of doing it without the list, and there's a good chance that I forgot things, because unfortunately that's what I do, is forget. There. Now, I think that that's everything. I just remembered something that I forgot to put in. It's going to need more mixing. <clears throat> oh, 
let's see if I can find it. Oh dear. Dear, dear, dear. I didn't write that down. That's what happens when you don't write things down. So many things that I put in to recipes, I don't have a very good way of dispensing them. So I have to use a knife. And this is the Grey Poupon. dirty. I don't want barbecue sauce in my gray coupon. Thank you. Get another load. There. Now I've made a mess of my kitchen. Everything all sticky now. That's my marinade sauce. I think. I'm not sure. But I believe that's everything. And what I do is I use this not just for a marinade sauce, but basically as a barbecue sauce. So if I have something that's on a rotisserie, I will occasionally open my toaster oven has the rotisserie on it and drop a little bit while it's cooking. Same thing with the outside barbecue. I will pour a little bit on while it's cooking. But in this case, what I'm going to do is cut up the beef that I have. I'm not going to do that in a moment once I clear all this stuff out. But I'm going to marinate it for a little while before I make the beef stew. And a lot of times I'll do it overnight, a lot of times just for a few hours. And I think that's all we need for this particular video and hope that I put everything that I normally put into it. But we won't know until probably I do like something like a steak or a pork chop. That's my marinade sauce. Thank you for watching. Now for my beef stew. I'd like to cut the pieces of the beef rather small. Just my personal preference. Okay, so we'll put this into a bag. That is the previous beef stew I did didn't have enough meat in it. <laughs> so needless to say I bought quite a bit more than I normally. And we'll pour a bunch of this. We now have the beef being marinated for my beef stew. So I'll let this sit in the refrigerator. And I'll come back and videotape the, uh, the rest of the beef stew. Take two. Yeah, I hope. Now, I'm about to do the final assembly for my <coughs> atrocious or illustrious beef stew that I've modified, changed, subtracted, and added, and played around with for quite a few years. This is the way I 
have been doing it for the last two or three times. I've organized the ingredients a lot more thoroughly this time. I've cut up <clears throat> the ingredients, the beef and marinated it in my marinade. Cut up the small potatoes and other things just so I can just throw all the stuff in. I've even put the um, dry spices into one little jar just to throw that in. So I'm going to do a lot of throwing. <laughs> okay. So, the layers that I like to put in, if only fingers would work. But I guess it's appropriate since I'm out of work. <coughs> hmm. And money is tight, the apartment is small. So I've got this one little small spot in my kitchen. I hope I've got the camera centered properly. So I wrote this down. Let's try to follow it. <coughs> Carrots. I have in the past cut these because I don't like crunchy carrots. But I think if we leave it in the crock pot long enough it'll be fine. And I should go ahead and plug it in. Now turn it on high because it takes a long time to warm up anyways. So the carrots. And I like these little potatoes from Canada. I use them in an awful lot of recipes now. I still buy a potato from <clears throat> whatever state that is that grows them. <clears throat> now I just took a bunch of vitamin C and here I am coughing again. Whatever you do, don't get old. So I'm going to put in a little bit of these green peppers and red onions. And boy do I love those nice hash browns with the green peppers and onions. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And now we put in the beef, and the beef has a marinade sauce. It's garlic and ginger that I added into it recently. You might be able to see some of that. So the whole thing is going to go in this time. I left, they buy a large amount, probably this amount, and I only put in half of it, and I found there wasn't quite enough beef. So, I hope that I've got all of the garlic and ginger. Now, where's my... Put the rest, no, put my mix, which has already started to thicken up on me. Should have waited to do that, I guess. A little bit of flour and cornstarch and water. Well, I have to make a mental note. Make mental notes because I'm a mental case. <laughs> I forget things. Okay, so mix that around. A 
hopefully. Set that down somewhere. Then the rest of the onions and green peppers. And I just do layers for the first time on high. I don't stir it. I wait for it to sit. Okay, so then the other meat, the sausage, pepperoni, and the bacon. And once again, I'm going to run out of room. And the tomato. <clears throat> I got a can of diced tomatoes, but I also like to put in whole tomatoes cut up. Yes. I do that with the spaghetti sauce too. And the spices. But my hands are need to be <coughs> sorry probably should have had a washcloth okay um the spices try to distribute them around and in the description of the video I will make every effort to remember to put a list of spices. I hope I do. Then we get down to the canned veggies and I'm using the water because I would normally have this is what you this is why we can't have good meals <clears throat> lower quality I can't afford the the good stuff It'd be nice if I had a farm where I could plant stuff my own but I don't know if that's gonna need some water later now I have the problem. Is the top going to be able to go down on top of this? Probably not. Well, that's the two veggies. And sprinkle with cheese. Always add cheese. And I so much like <coughs> You're not a sponsor for my show, but I'm from Vermont, and I like Vermont Cabot. The Seriously Sharp is very good. So now we've got that on high. <clears throat> and for years, all the crock pots that I bought, and it's kind of obvious if you're watching, that I can't do this with a small crock pot. But I always used to put these down to close the top. And then I read somewhere, maybe the manual that came with this, I don't know, that's only used for transporting so that it doesn't spill like when you put it in the car or something. I didn't know that. So I ended up smooshing the rubber because of that. Why is it only now, at my age, that I learn how to do these things properly? I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> 
see if this will show it. I don't know if it will. But this are my notes for doing the beef stew. Again, I make changes, add things, take away things. But it's a good thing it's written down because if this doesn't come out the way I like it, I can blame the person that wrote this. <laughs> <coughs> okay. So, it's on high. I'm going to leave that on high. Um, it's what? Nine o'clock. I have trouble sleeping. So, I will be up past midnight. So for, let's say, three or four hours, leave that on high. And then just before going to sleep, I'll put it back down to, to low and let it go overnight. Hopefully. It'll be done in the morning. Hopefully it won't be overflowing all over the place because it usually settles down a little bit once it gets the heat and then we can stir it <clears throat> probably I took two vitamin C gummies and the coughing comes right back I apologize for that. Getting old. Car accident. Got pneumonia. Way back when, so I have scar tissue. And any time I, I talk, because I live by myself, I don't talk very much. I don't like the phone. I email most of the time. So I don't use my vocal cords very much. As soon as I do, I start coughing. So I apologize for the clearing of the throat and everything. And I'm going to leave this on for at least three hours, if not more. With my bad memory, I might just leave it on high all night because I forgot. But either way, it's going to be cooked. And this time there's going to be plenty of beef in it. So I won't have that to complain about. So I've got to remember that it's a little tight. I think what I'll do next time is instead of getting two and a half pounds, I might take it down a notch and two pounds. I don't know. But if it tastes good, I don't care. As long as it doesn't spill all over every place. So that'll be it, and we'll. Uh, I will see in the morning whether I did this right or not. Thank you for watching. You have a great day. Just went to check on it, and I forgot to turn the camera on. This is the beef stew after being cooked all night. Now the all the layers you missed the start of it because I was an idiot. All the layers need to be mixed up because the whole point of Doing a big stew is not to eat a bunch of carrots, then eat a bunch of potatoes, and then eat a bunch of the meat, and so on. But that each and every spoonful <coughs> has more than one flavor in it. So you mix it. And the looks of the sauce 
it is thickened the way I like it. Oh, there's a good thick one. <clears throat> now it must be. Oh, look at that. Yes. I do not like hard carrots in my beef stew. I want them to be soft, succulent, and juicy. And ha, 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 ha. Yes. Okay. And you can turn that off. <clears throat> and we can have some for breakfast. After I make my coffee. With that. With a little bits of tomato. All the other different things. Oh, that looks so good. Yes. Can I do this without spilling? To show everybody? Mmm. 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 I can't wait to have a ball. I'm going to have a ball. No, I'm going to have a ball. Thank you for watching. Video is over. What? I'm out of